Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I want to make a friction fire, a bow drill set. And it's important that you train the skill every now and then so that you don't get out of shape. And then in a real survival situation, you can use the skill. Today I'm only using this knife here and a piece of cordage. So that's my challenge for the day. So now I want to venture out and search for a fresh bow drill material. So I see a lot of people, they are taking dry materials into the forest and practice the bow drill like this. But actually this is cheating and you should really use fresh bow drill materials that you have freshly cut. And then uh, it's much more difficult because if there is a little bit of moisture left in the wood, then it's not so easy anymore. Okay guys, so I'm walking alongside this river here. It's the river where I have played as a kid. And alongside rivers you can find softer woods very easily. And I'm looking for hazelnut, for basswood, poplar or willow. And these are the best bow drill materials. And every time I see this cinder here, I try to collect it. And this is great because it's off the ground and very dry. If you're wondering what jacket I'm wearing today, it's the Responder jacket by the company Amebilis. Pretty tactical, pretty awesome. You got Velcro at both sides. You got some neoprene armor plating at the shoulders and here in the front. And the cool thing is that they have some molly webbing, so you could wear some pistol magazines on here. It has 10 different pouches, pretty tactical. And this here is my favorite pouch because in here I have my mobile phone. So in case of an emergency, my mobile phone is not far away. If you're interested in this jacket, make sure that you follow the link that is provided in the description of this video. Okay, this here is elderflower, and this is also suitable for the bow drill, but it works best only for the fireboard, so I still have to find another spindle. That's good stuff here. This here is a great find. This here is willow and it's almost perfect from the size. Okay, I'm back at my camp and now I want to carve the bow drill set. So first of all, I want to carve the spindle and I think I'm going to take this part here, which has the last curve in it. So I'm just gonna cut this off here. I haven't done this for a while now, so I'm very curious if I can get it going. I try to make it as straight as possible and take out the curves to avoid the wobble when bow drilling. As bow drill hole, I'm going to take this hole here from my knife. This is the lanyard hole. And yeah, I believe it will work. Okay, this is not going so well. I think I'm gonna change out 
the fireboard because it's much too hard. I've learned to trust my gut feeling and it tells me that this won't work. The fireboard is too, too hard. And now I'm going to take the leftover of the willow and I'm carving a new fireboard quickly. And as you can see, I completely destroyed my the handle of this knife here. And the spindle is not good. I got a really nice amber. Okay, I destroyed the amber. <laughs> so now I have to make a new one. Okay, now my string is through. Okay, now the fireboard has broken. Yeah. Got a small ember. No. Nope. Shit. Yeah, guys, so unfortunately I couldn't get a fire going today. And my gut feeling was right at the first time when i was drilling i saw that the smoke was coming too late and the problem was that that the spindle was maybe too wet and then with the other dry material it worked but then i failed to transfer the amber so that was completely my fault and you have to be very careful when you're doing that and yeah, I haven't done a boat drill for a long time and this is a reminder for me that you constantly, constantly have to train that skill. It's a really hard skill, especially if you are a woman or a weaker person and if you are alone, you know. So with two persons today, I probably would have gotten more embers than just one. Hey, but at least I got one ember, right? So yeah. If you want to see more Friction Fire videos, let me know in the comments. Also, thank you again Amabilis for sponsoring this jacket. And yeah, as I said, check out their link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.